Hello everybody, this is Mini back. Um, I've always wanted to do a, a, a build series. I've always wanted to be able to do a build series from start to finish. And I seem to get in the mood where I start building. And once I start building, I don't, um, I don't document everything. So with this build here, I only want to build it while I'm online. Um... So what I'm going to do today, we're going to start off with this build here. Um, the Scale Modeling Channel, um, Tom Ridgeder, um, he does a great job of showing the steps that he does and what he does through them. Um, though most builds are somewhat box stock, almost box stock, you know what I mean? Um, he does do some um, bumper changes and he does do some wheel swaps, but it mean he great channel to watch um he shows the steps he does when he's working on things um so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to start with this kit here here's one of the first ones i want to start doing this right here is the c1 um it's c1 models um it's their trans kit it is for this kit here it's for the um Hazagawa uh, Sunny truck. Um, the year version we're using is the 79. Now they have three versions of this. They have one that's older than this. They have one that's newer than this. Um, but we're going to use this truck here and we're going to use this trans kit. Um, so what I want to try to do is start building um, this truck on the life uh you know as i do it so each day will probably um work um every time i go live will probably work for an hour on it or so you know um and then i'll put a i'll put a build series up of it um you guys can leave comments um good morning gothic how are you doing how you been feeling but i haven't seen um i've been jamming out for a show haven't got to attend your live show for a while but um thank you for coming in here today i'm sorry i've missed your show um, but Gothic is another one, uh, he has a live show where he just sits there and builds, and he talks to us while he's building, um, that's something that I want to get into, um, it seems like I tried to do a build series here a while back, and I started it, I gave you, like, one update, and then the ding thing was done, and, um, so, we'll start off with what's in this kit, right, here's the C1 Models Kit, um, you guys can get it from their website. Um, within this kit, it comes with um, basically what we're doing is you're trying to put a Skyline um, 2000 front end on it. Um, so within this kit, we get um, a 3D printed. You get a 3D printed front end. Got great details. Look, the marker light is. The marker light is open. Let's see if I can't get that. The fins. And um, it's smooth. I believe it's a 3D printed front end that they uh, resin cast. So it's super clean. Very Got really good support. It's got all the, the drill marks and the over fenders. Um, here's the front grill. If you guys can't see that. Then here's the rear over fenders. Um, here's a front bumper. Here's a front air dam. And then here's the hood. Uh, then I ain't going to open these. I don't want to lose them. But right here's your lights and good, clean, clear lights. And then also with this kit, it also gives you interior items, which is really good. Instead of just the front end swap, you get the Skyline style steering wheel. And the Skyline style um, steering column. 
you get a skyline style dash. And that's great detail, guys. And then you get two bucket seats. All right, and now the kit. Let's go, let's examine the kit. The kit is, um, it's 124 scale by Hazagawa. And it, it's supposed to be, yeah, me neither. Guy, um, guys, I want to give a special thanks to Scaled World, um, Mr. Pedro Morales, um, for donating um, the C1 kit and the truck kit for this live interview build. Um, I'd been talking the idea over with my buddy Pete, and he suggested this should be the first one I go live with. Um, we have some more C1 products to build live as soon as this one's done. We'll have the C1 Honda Civic to do, and we're going to have the C1 Volkswagen to do. Um, I have everything ready for the Volkswagen. We're still waiting on the Honda Civic hatchback. I'm still looking for it. But that this is a series of builds that we're going to do um, for Scaled World and for um, Mr. Mini Dreams on the YouTube Um and like I said, I plan on, I plan on each each time I get to the to the table to build, I plan on giving it an hour an hour or so of building. So, like, that's what we're starting off with, and it, and it's a decent fit. Don't get me wrong, it's a decent fit. Um, with the paint and stuff that I use, um, with the paint and stuff that I use, I'm gonna have to sand the hood down a little bit um, because I use high solid clear and stuff like that. But look at that. That is phew, this right here. Uh, the kits ain't cheap. Um, I think the factory 81, some of the factory 81 stuff, like you guys seen me do um, the BRZ for Scaled World using the factory 81 body kit. Um, I believe it's $70. Um, for that kit and this one right here is a little bit more pricier um, I don't want to give you an exact price um, due to shipping and stuff so you guys will have to go over there and get that um, but I got two of these trucks um, Scaled World has already done um, an out-of-box review of this kit so if you guys want to see more of this kit um, go to scaledworld.net and look up the Nissan Sunny truck out of box review and here's the body I mean you guys will be able to see more of this stuff over there at scaled world um, and his out of box uh, out as of um, out of box review thing um, so first thing that I would like to do is I'm gonna look at this body and you try to and you gotta try it when you do something like this you gotta see where everything lines up so you don't want to just go in there and yak it um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across this first, and then I think I'm going to go straight down. I think I'm going to come straight down the front and then trim up to the doors as I need it, as I need it to. Another thing, I'm going to look at something else while I'm doing this. I'm blessed to have two sunny car kits too. So I might be doing. So I'm gonna look at this right now. I have this body here too. So I'm gonna see what I can't use plastic off of there to here. So, first thing, first thing I like to do, I want to see this. I want to see. All right. All right. So, let's, we don't want to cut this support out yet. Because support right here 
is Pete what do you th I see Pete in here dude what if we get another one look and we do the front end swap on the car too We, I just did a video, guys, about inspiration. And here it is. I'm inspired now to take this body kit and put it on the coupe also. <laughs> I've ever put that to the side before I start cutting up something I shouldn't cut up. So, what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm taking my scriber. Pete, look at it, bruh. Look. Look, son. I got I got two of these bodies guys. So we might be able to cut. No, Timothy, I'm gonna build the truck. We're gonna build the truck. Um this right here will be a full blown feature once all the videos are done. We'll do some still pictures and everything. Come on, George. Look, bro, I was looking at it too, son. Look. Put the fat fenders on the back. Do the Nissan swap up front. With that hood and everything. <laughs> oh man. Pete, what did I start, brother? What did I... All right, let's get back to focus. We're going to <laughs> We're going to put this front end on this. Not <laughs> All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe it. I'm going to scribe it like I'm taking the hood off. So we just go back and forth. I'll use my knife here in a minute, but I'm trying to build a good line first. This right here is just a regular mechanical pencil, bud. It's a mechanical pencil that I put a, a, a straight pin in. You take a straight pin like this, like you would use for sewing. You cut the head off, and then you stick it in here. And that's all it is. So I can always keep it sharp just by switching... And this right here is how I would open up any any hood or trunk that you guys see me open up in hand. This is how I do it. Now on these build days, guys, I don't have a certain day or a certain time I'm going to do this. Just every time I sit down to work on this, I will um, go live 
so that's the only problem with this one. Um, I had time today. My son is asleep. Um, we've been having some issues with my oldest boy. Um, he's up in his room asleep right now. So I thought I'd get back on here. Um, but this right here is just, I always wanted to do a real live, uh, well, a build series. Um, now I just thought it'd be a lot easier doing it live. Um, Scaled World, Pete Morales, uh, Pedro Morales that's in here right now, um, He's doing a, he's posting, he's going to post up a video, um, it's loading up now, I don't know if it's ready to watch yet, but as soon as it's ready to watch, um, guys go over there and check it out, he's, um, he's got the scaled world thing for us all to enjoy, and now he's going to try to do a video or two here and there, um, but all, like I said a minute ago, he has the kit review of this up. Um, the kit review of the Chip Foos truck up. Um, there's several different reviews. Um, I picked, I got a kit this week that I can't, I want to do a review on is this right here. A lot of people like the Fast and the Fury style Supra, but this one here was always my favorite style Supra. Um, I just like, I just like this one better um, because of the square body style that it, that it had, you know, the really sharp edges here and this to me is such a better looking Supra than the one that everybody else tend to do. Um, they all want to go for that rounded style Supra. In my, in, in my book, I don't like the rounded one. It looks just like a big Celica to me. Um, but I, this right here is always my favorite Supra. And Pete uh, picked this up for me um, out of Japan. And um, I can't wait to do a kit review on this for you guys. Um, just look at these wheels. The back in the day, man, these these wheels were so badass because if you look at them right now and they're just black, look at that pattern. Dude, these are sick, dude. But on but when you actually turn them, you see the way that the thing is. Um, my plan is I always wanted one of these. I seen one of these with the turbo. It was silver with uh, silver wheels. It was just a sick car. And um, I just always liked this one, uh, this body style better than the one everybody else tend to do. So this right here will be a, 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 a kit review. Um, yeah. That, oh, you already did what's in the box with this one? All right. Well, there you guys go. You guys can see the, the kit review of that. <laughs> to me, that was just always a better super. I always liked that one better. Try and stay in camera view. Alright. So now I got that. You guys see how much deeper that side is than this side? And then I'll come back through with my model knife here in a little bit. I'll come back through with my model knife. And um, they'll take out more product at the time. But right there gives me a guideline. Because you can't hardly ever see. Um, the best way to do work like this is the clean, cleaner, uh, the better end results. Don't just go in there and try to rush through it. Um, I still have to wash these parts. Um, but what I want to do is I want to get it cut up um, for me. I like to cut up, get everything test fitted first, and, and you know, trim up what I need to, um, so that way when I go to soak these and wash these. Um, Timothy, I do plan to put a motor in here. Um, I have a resin, I have a resin. Um, Skyline motor I want to put in here. Um, it's just a big resin block and stuff. So once I put this, once I get this in there like that, um, I'll run all the tubing and everything. I'll run all the tubing and everything off there for the twin turbos and, and all that. It, here's all, I got all the resin pieces and all this here for it. Um, the intercooler, the, the top. Um, it's a beast of a motor. Like I said, this right here is just a plain resin right now. It still needs to be all cleaned up and everything and, and, and sized up. And Yeah, it'll be a beast in there, bud. And the motor... Um, you can get the motor in the new um, GTR kit. 
And then right there is just the resin copied. Sounds like nails on a chalkboard sometimes, guys. I also want to mention, if you guys are on Facebook, and you guys ain't subscribed to Scaled World yet, go over there and subscribe to Scaled World on Facebook also. Um, he always gives a chance, like, whenever uh, there's a new feature, um, he can post it, and you, you guys will be able to be uh, kept updated on that as well. Um, I attended a show this weekend, and he's got some new content coming from that show um, coming up. Um, Scale World is doing a great, um, great coverage for us guys that don't get all the way out there all the time. Um, you know, you got some people that are known by name because of the constant car show coverage they get. And what Pete does for us that don't get out there and ain't as well known, it's giving everybody, um, a 15 minute um, spotlight, you know, what, where, where, you know, you get your class of fame, and, and it feels good, um, to be able to see people say, oh, I seen your build on Scale World, or, you know, something like that, because what Pete and them are doing over there is great, um, but Pete just finished his 510, um, it was a project that him and Gap Hill Speed Shop um, got together one day uh, a few weeks ago. And um, John over there at the Gap Hill Speed Shop um, did some weathering for Pete. And Pete took this little 510 home and finished it up. And this thing is sick. The details that Pete put into it on top of the weathering that John done. Oh man, this little car is smoking hot. You got to make sure you get your corners, guys. And then George, right there at Vision 124, um, he put up a video this week of uh, my, um, my Belvedere wagon, his Belvedere coupe, and um, Clifton's. And uh, another friend of ours, um, Nick Sedone's um, Belvedere's. So that's a good little video. You go check it out. And I'm telling you what, guys. I got to get my hand on some of that Fireball resin stuff. Because the carburetors that Clifton and um, George used, man, they are sick. right there is a little thick I should have used the newer blade guys usually I switch my blades out but I just grabbed the first knife I saw Sometimes you got to go both directions.
we got the hood off. Now let's work on the front end. Guys, am I still staying in picture frame or am I getting too far off? Oh, I got 23 people watching. Hey, what's up, Gil? Yeah, everything's going good, bud. Um... Are you talking about, uh, Jay, are you talking about Fireball? Thanks, T. See that curve right there um i wanted to do a build gilbert um guys i'm gonna do a recap for my buddy gilbert um i got this c1 kit bud and in this c1 kit it comes with the front end swap where you can put this custom front end um and basically this front end is off of, of a nissan 2000 um gt which would probably be during the 70s and it's a trans kit for this truck here to make this truck into like a, a tuner road racer um you know something like that you know what i mean and um i've always wanted to do a live build but it seems like i make a video of the start i make a middle video and then i make a finished video so what i'm going to try to do is every time i get this out to work on it work on it for about an hour and do a live feed so today what i'm doing is cutting off um all this was molded in gill so what i'm doing is taking um un i'm going to dissect it apart and then we're going to join this together and i'm going to try to um just try to make it a current build i um, mean every time i set down go live um as i build in it and i'm only going to do the build while i'm on camera yeah, thanks, Gil. Hey, Gilbert, I went to the shop yesterday, and I needed promo boxes. Um, so I went and picked up some of these boxes here to box up some cars that I have. And these guys use those to collect the magic cards. Um, so I go over to the stand and look at some Reaper stuff, which I picked up this little dude. Um, but they have a new, they have a new, uh, they have a new set of figures out, and. Oh, now I can't think of them, but they had the Vallejo emblem on it, bud. And the one I seen that I wanted was only five bucks, but I only had money for the boxes. Um, it has got three little um, um, trolls in them, and they're super neat and detailed. But it's a Vallejo figure, bud, and they're about this big a piece. You know what I mean? And I didn't know if you'd seen them yet. Um, I forgot what. What they say they were, but they have a Vallejo emblem on them. Maybe next week I'll go by and, and pick them up. 
But they had a... Alright. No, it's not a Reaper. They're, like, like, here's one I'm working on now. I got it based in the Steino Reds Yellow. And the, they're probably about half his size. They come with the little black base. Um, they come with the little black base. Here's the other one I'm working on too, Gilbert. I'm just letting that chrome dry before I get in there and add some other stuff to it. Um, dang it, I forgot what they call them now. Yeah, but there's the Vale it has this Vallejo emblem on the package. I wanna say phase works, but I don't know if that's right. Oh, Gil, you should have seen that. They have racks and racks full, bud. I can the next time I next time I run over there, buddy. I'll I'll, I'll take a picture and I actually write down. Uh, I'll get you some information and maybe you can order from the shop that's down the street for me. Or because they had so many, I'd hate to to direct you. But they're not very big. They probably they're probably half the size of this Reaper. I'm telling you. They were probably about this big from from his neck down. But what I like about them, there's two or three in a package. Oh man, they had a spider too. They have a spider, Gilbert. The spider was about this big in a big package. Oh dude, he looked super cool. And then they have three littler spiders. They'll probably be about the size of nickels. In a package I, where you could build like the mama spider and then have the little babies. T, this right here, it is a scribing tool, but it's a tool I made. I took a mechanical pencil. You take a straight pen. And then what I do is I cut the head of it off here, and I shove it up in the pencil hole, and then that way, whenever this dolls out, you can always keep a new sharp pencil thing in there. I got this size here, and if you notice, this size needle here, uh, they're just straight pins, uh, Pedro. And then see the different, see the small, see the smaller one here, and this right here, the one with the balls are always smaller, and they're just sewing straight pins, guys. So I got that one, and I got this one. That way, it has the two different sizes. These right here are just the cheap, the cheap big ones that come in a great big bag, you know, uh, when school time is in, you know what I mean? You can get these at Wally World. You, you should be able to get these like at a CVS or Osco's or something. They're just the cheap throwaway big uh, pencils. Made or whatever you call them. I said big like the razor. <laughs>
For you guys here that ain't subscribed to uh, Gilbert over there at Red Dragon Model Works, um, go over there and uh, check check out his channel. He also does a thing called the Styrene Syndicate, which is a great outlet too. Um, those gentlemen build everything. It will help you guys. Um, okay, Jay. Um, it'll help you guys with with different aspects of the hobby. Gil is one hell of a painter. Um, he showed stuff that you can weather with chalks, pastels, um, just about I anything, oil paints, and Gilbert is one of the best um, out there to teach you, um, well, he, he's really not a teacher, but he, his experience will help you learn your airbrush, how to clean it, how to do different paint jobs with it, um, from figures like I just showed a minute ago, to full-blown resin stuff that's two foot high. I mean, he does it. Oh, hey, Gilbert. And um, they have the the Molotov Chrome is back in stock for the refills. Um, me and Scale World that you see in the comments, we just both picked up um, these. Um, and then Hobby Lobby is selling the pins and stuff too now. Um, but this stuff here, it will be great. And I know... Um, and I knew um, Gilbert was uh, looking into it um, for his swords and stuff like that when he does his figures. Um, he's not so much a gamer, guys, as he is uh, an artist. So he don't, he don't pick him up to um, play the games. He picks him up because his creativity... Um... What? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yeah, I hate, I hate it when shit like that happens. Um, and, uh, Gilbert's talent is bar none, um, sick, just sick. Get my fat hands out of the way. Gilbert, did you enjoy your Volkswagen build? That was a crazy paint job, bud. Got to get an even groove in there so that way it cuts better. But you got different thicknesses in plastics because of this molding and this molding down here. Um, see, it's all one size underneath. So you got to get, and what I'm trying to do is get it to where I can have one easy flow and I don't have all the humps. And that way it just one can, because if you don't do something like that, guys, say you're going down here with the pressure, you hit that bump. 
you're going to lose that channel and then you can come over here and scratch the body or something. So you kind of want to make sure you can just stay in even flow. And that's how you should do it even when you're opening the doors and whatnot. Make sure you get through. That way, see how it is now. See, it's not skipping now. Because you're already, you don't want to create a gap too big, too wide. Um, and you don't want to cause damage on this side to cause yourself more body work or whatnot. And if I didn't have this coop here on the side, um, I would have probably cut the hood out so I can keep this lance like this. Then I probably just pulled out my bone saw and come straight down. Oh, dang, that sucks. Getting a little bit of a skip when I get down there. And then before this before this ever goes into primer, I'll rescribe all the other body lines too, you know, to give it better de definition. Even if you're a box stock builder, guys, and you don't do add on the detail and everything, it's best if you open up your lines just a little bit of concentration. Um, you know, just a little bit of concentration on the body to do your prep would be um, very, very worth it in the end results. I made a video earlier, guys, uh, on my Thursday tech tips thing. And we was talking about inspiration. And um, within there, I made a comment about a young man. Um, Gilbert, I met a 14-year-old boy this weekend that is phenomenal at detailing. And he built um, some drag cars. And he's 14. He opted to go into the adult class instead of um, the junior teen class. And the kid cleaned house, man. He is awesome, and you know, when he was getting his award for best engine detail, um, I yelled out into the, the crowd that, you know, this is scary, guys. He's 14 years old. Um, just wait till when he actually um, gets in it, in it, you know, like Gilbert and I have been, you know, hobbyists doing this stuff for years. Um, just to see a young man like that and his talent already was just, man, it was sick. Guys, I'm going to grab a new blade. Yeah. Yeah, we still need to get together and do your thing, Gilbert. You want to aim for, um, you want to aim for next Wednesday? <laughs> Bill, you better, you better not get caught on the computer at work, Bill. <laughs> You guys can see with each little pass, you guys can see all the shavings coming. And that's why you just, you got to take your time.
And you can see you start to cut through on the back side. You see where you're starting to cut through. That's that thicker piece of plastic I was telling you guys about. You can, you can, I, like I have a little saw here. You can use the little saw, but if you're not wanting your jams, you know, to be open too much, you don't want to use the saw to do the whole thing because it'll take off more than what you want. Basically, you use the saw just to break that last little edge. Now you see that side there is loose. Now we got to get the other side. Just so you guys can see, scaleworld.net. You guys, right there are some things you guys can go check out. And then you can even submit your own builds here, Gilbert. Um, here's the emails, you know. Um, and then submit pictures, a little bio of what you want to share. Um, right now, we're focused on just, the, you know, automotive stuff um, being scaleworld.net. But there's other sections coming soon and maybe um some of your figures can be featured in there um i would like to see you um gilbert if you're still here that little airplane car concept i think that would be a super great feature um you can contact um like i said the email addresses and um go check that out hook up with uh pete um yeah, go out there, check out with Pete, and he'll be able to um, get more information from you. But that that was a sick build. Um, Gilbert took a an airplane fuselage and turned it into like a, a desert. Uh, not so much a Mad Max, but maybe like um, after Doomsday, you know, where you don't have a whole lot of stuff going on. Um you can go over there and check that out. That that is a sick build that Gilbert did. And then this build right here, um, it is for. Um, we're gonna do a, a feature build. All the videos from this build um, will be uh, over at Scaled World. Um, we're gonna start. That's why I said stage one is today. Every time I do a video up until this is complete. Um, then we'll publish the still pictures on Scaled World, and then um, this right here will be um, sent back to Scaled World and do the show tour um, like some of the other builds we have done for Scaled World. Um, I have a second truck. Um, I got two of these trucks. I got two of these. Um, one is going to be for me. One will be for Scaled World. Um, it's just something that I enjoy doing for Scaled World. Um, they keep my bench uh, supplied um, with stuff. When I need stuff, I just tell Pete that I need something. And Pete goes out of his way to make sure um, I get what I need. And then um, we go from there. Um, very helpful uh, for me, guys. He lets me build stuff that I can't afford to build. 
and um, I get to enjoy it uh, being shown um, around the country. Like, I get to show it at one show here in the Midwest, but Pete gets to attend more shows up north that I'll never be able to. So it's great for me to be able to build a product like this, um, you know, with the C1 kit, with this kit here that, that's uh, from Japan. All this stuff here was imported um, into me, so um, I can build this. Um, enjoy building it, sends it to Scale World. They get to actually show it at, at shows like the Versified Scalers show that's coming up, um, the New Jersey N and L, the Maryland show. You know, there's a lot of shows um, that my builds can attend that I don't get to, um, and that and that's a pleasure. Um, I don't charge uh, nobody for what I build. Um, I just built the Pinto wagon for MJ. I built. Um, you know, it's just something I love to do because these guys are giving me a chance to build stuff um, at my pace, um, at the level of detail that I want to build, and um, then they get to show it for me, so I get to enjoy both, uh, best of both worlds. <laughs> so this is, you know, and I told when me and uh, Scaled World first hooked up, um, it's hard it's hard to put trust in some people in this hobby um we found out this week uh when we was doing the mustang challenge um the guys that run the show that we went to told me and bobblehead that at the mustang challenge they gave away 25 mustangs last year for everybody to build and bring back only nine of us brought cars back you know um i'm not into it for just free stuff um, I want to get stuff. I want to build stuff. I want to share what I build, uh, and and that that is upsetting um, when a club gets you the kit, even though it was a snap together kit. The fact of the matter is, people took the kit and didn't even attempt um, to finish it or to bring it back. Um, me, I finished. Um, my friend Jay Hennings finished, and Jay's is a great looking Mustang. Um, I believe it will be featured on Scaled World soon. I sent um, pictures for that if it hasn't already been posted. Um, he took the same snap together I took that I built the station wagon out of. And Jay's did some green accent. It's got the Camaro hood grafted on it. The ZL1 hood grafted on it. And the custom green that he used. Jay's Mustang is just killer um i was lucky enough though where i have more i had more of the popular votes and i won that um mustang um challenge but this year we're doing um this year we're going to be doing the audi Oh, yeah, and Scale World has been um, sponsoring um, Chevy Cheeseburger's top 10 builds, and it, um, he um, donated a $20 gift certificate to Extreme Scale Detail. Um, that's that's very thankful there, Scaled World. Um, and it went to Rattle Can Shenanigans um, for his build, Um and that's great because Chip and Lisa offer some great products over there um, for you guys that don't have, a, like a John Pohl. Um, he has mentioned that it's kind of hard for him to get stuff um, in his part of Canada. Um, and then ordering stuff online, you know, is kind of expensive and out of the way for him um, sometimes. But sometimes that's the only way he can get um, the stuff that he needs. So, you know, that's great that... Um, Pete over at Scaled World did that, and um, you just never know where you might play. So get your builds ready for next month. I think next month is an all-out. I don't remember.
I'm trying to be careful now that I got that other fender cut off. I don't want to break my cow support. Oh, hello. Chip is here right now. Speak of the devil. Well, not that Chip's the devil. I mean, speak of Chip. There he is. And then, you know, like I was saying on the inspiration thing um, earlier, guys, too. Um, Chip has the videos um, in playlist that you guys can go to Chevy Cheeseburger's page and look at last month's um, um, entries and see what everybody is doing. Um, and that's great inspiration, too. If you just, if you're in a slump and you're bummed out and bored, um, just go to check out the playlist and it will show you some other builds. Um, man, there were some great builds and throughout, I was just busy getting through my show and whatnot that I didn't have a chance to vote last month or this month, but, um, I'm really excited. I watched the video, some great builds, um, really like the way Clifton, uh, has stepped up and, you know, he's becoming a, a strong contender in the community when it comes to doing the, uh, top 10 stuff. And another great one is um, it just gives you motivation. You can see what everybody else is doing. Um, Chip even entered. Uh, he entered a stock car. And, you know, like a lot of us just enter street cars. But it would show you the way Chip, um, Chip built. And it was an older build, guys. Not even his newer stuff. Um, was still really great looking um, build. You just... Don't be ashamed to, to show your work. And that's what um, Chip's Top 10 is about. That's what um, Scaled World is, is about. It's about getting you guys out there to um, share your hobby. Show, show what you're, you enjoy building. I'm trying not to break this corner. All right. So right there, we dissected the hood. Now we got the front clip off. Now, I always suggest sanding everything down. And what I'm going to use today, I'm using my UMP um, 180. I'm just going to go in there and sand down all the cuts I just had. And you always want to do this because you always want your best fitment. You never want to try to glue something on and then try to clean everything else up, guys. You want to be able to. And you guys can get these at umpretail.com. Um, I got the Ultimate Sander Package um, because it comes with these thinnies and it comes with some other stuff too. Um, they come with some fat ones like, like this right here is a super fat one. Um, they're all different grips and sizes. Um, you got these right here. Then there's buffers. Just some great, great product. All right. So now this is this is what we all that work was for, is to get this front clip here onto this right here. And then you see, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of filling there at the bottom. But that is easy. That right there will be easy. And the reason why I cut this all the way down the factory line instead of straight. Because I think I'm going to take this front end and put it on this resin car. So that way I have a resin front end. I mean I have a plastic front end. So let's check the other side. On the other side. The other side came out a lot cleaner. Still maybe just a little bit there at the end of the door. Alright, now let's see. Now the hood itself come from C1 with some flash on it. And most all your resin is always going to have flash. Um, so you just got to clean some of that up. It's not as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. that right there like that so you can 
size all that up. Yeah, Jay, I'm telling you what, man, you got my vote. Um, I don't know how many other people would vote for themselves, but you know it's going to happen. But for me, your Mustang was just crushing. Uh, Pete, did I not send you the dark gray Mustang with the green wheels and the green stripe down the center? I think I sent you those pictures, bud. Those are Jay's models. Um, Jay doesn't do Facebook. Um, but Jay, like I said, you can go to scaledworld.net and you can enter more pictures of that Mustang. That Mustang is killer, buddy. There was two or three, there might have, there's either two, th I have pictures, but there's either two or three drag Mustangs. Um, there was one Mustang, it looked like somebody was going to turn into a, an airplane, um, and but they didn't get very far on it, just the wings and stuff. And then there was Jay's custom Mustang and my custom Mustang. Um, there was only nine of us that showed up. There was one guy that had his Mustang uh, painted like, the golf racing colors and it, it was cool looking too um, but hands down Jay's was my favorite um, yeah it was a sick one alright guys now what I gotta do is I'm gonna cut this off And we'll have to cut that off and, and do some sizing up. But it looks like with that piece in there, it's bringing it in. See how when you try to go right up to it, it's sucking it in. So let me cut this piece off real quick. And then, like I said, guys, I won't be mounting this right now. We still have to wash it and everything. Yeah, see there. Now that's a good fit. So with our little hour today, we got this front end cut off. Let's see, we got that front end cut off. You know what I want to do? I want to put this in here and see where that front end lies. Now, I don't know, maybe, I can't remember right offhand, is Chris Hales the one that runs uh, C1, um, Pete? He did a great job of mounting this stuff to where, you know, it won't break and, and it's flimsy. Um, one thing that I find hard and difficult sometimes on some of these trans kit guys, um, They'll send you the front piece, and then they send you the side one piece, and then once you, and it's kind of hard to get them to square up sometimes when they're all printed different. So with this design and them all together at the same time, um, my hat's off to Chris for uh, for designing it this way. Um, that way you could just do the front end swap, and if you fail, you fail. But he makes it to where it's your fault, not the manufacturer's fault. And we'll still have to do some cleaning up here and there, guys. But I just wanted to see how that right there fits. That's going to be sick. Then we'll get the... Here's what I like to do. I do this a lot, guys, when I'm sizing stuff up. Get you, I get you some clear tape. I got a big roll of clear tape here like this. And then I'll put tape on one side. 
and you put tape on the other side and then you can size your pieces up that way when you're doing your test fitting you can actually see so see right now once you do that, you can hold it up, and now you ain't got to worry about your hands being in the way, and you can actually see what you're working on. And then we put that right here over the frame like it's supposed to go. Right there. And then we'll get the hood. Now, it's going to need a little bit of sanding on the edges, but what we're doing right now, we're just test fitting everything, so we'll work on that when we get to get to the hinges. So, like right there. Hey, what's up, Todd? Todd from Tool Taz, guys. Um, jump over there, subscribe to him real quick while he's here. Now, one thing I do not like about this kit is... It comes with two sets of wheels. It comes with your stock wheels. And then it comes with these like wannabe looking things. But they're so small. I don't think they would be applicable for a nice custom on this. But, oop, there you guys go. I don't think it would be a nice custom wheel for this. But I have a few escorts. You know, I have some smaller cars. You know, they, they'll, they'll fit right on. Now this hood. Now for me, I'm going to work on this hood for a minute because it's giving me, I'm anxious to see it fit right. I'm going to take a little off each side so that way it stays somewhat even. there have to do a little bit more trimming but there you guys go stage one Since we're going with the wide, since it's going to go have the wide fenders and stuff on it, let me get out some wheels. I got this set of wheels that I custom made. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to bounce the camera. But I have these wheels right here. Maybe not low enough. But once we get the fat, we get the rear fender wheels on. Oops. Maybe get the, get those wheels on. Like that. I, I say I say to before I say to before hit the truck feet. <laughs> but we'll, we'll we'll look through when we when we get that far we'll look through, and we'll see what wheels we have for it. Um, 
But you guys uh, feel like this right here would be a, a neat little series to watch. I kind of want to do it as I'm working with you guys. I'm going to put an hour in today. Um, what I'll do now is put everything up. I'll probably put all these parts in the wash. Um, that way we can um, continue on um, the next time I come and sit down here uh, to work on it. Um, just thought I'd spend a little bit of time today working on it. And I want to be able to do it where you guys can follow along. Those of you that choose to follow along, I should say. There's the grill. And all that in there. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Pete. And like I said, um... The other one, I was planning on either shorten it, or we might go. We might try to build a, a sunny wagon. We don't know what we're going to do with the other one yet, but definitely this one. This one here is definitely going to be cool. Now there's a few of these done. You guys can Google image these, and there's real trucks done with this. That's right here was a real truck. Um, Jay Leno has um rodent in a real truck you know with one in a real truck like this so go out there and look and you guys can see which direction um we're going i don't know what color i'll do this one yet um how far into it that will go um it's just a really cool swap something that i, I really wanted to do something scaled world really wanted to feature uh, um so we're gonna get this one here underway we're having a lot of fun already. Um, like I said, go out there, check out Scaled World, check out oh shit, check out Red Dragon Model Works, um, check out the Styring Syndicate if you guys can, and um, check out some of the other channels um, from the guys that are commenting here. And um, we'll see you guys definitely next Thursday for the Tech Thursdays, and um, and then the build series for this. So. Um, like I said, no no exact date or time um, on this build series. Just whenever I have free time, I can get down here and work. Um, I got 30 followers today. I appreciate all you guys um, um, that are following me and, and are supporting me um, and enjoying this hobby the same as the rest of us are. So, um, check those seats out real quick. Oh, then they're going to fit real nice. Yeah, they'll fit. They'll fit on that base perfect. No, Gilbert, don't worry about it, bro. Um I I I've, I've always wanted to do a build series, guys. And like I said, the scale modeling um the scale modeler channel, um he does Tom, he does a great job of doing um full builds, um the how to, you know, he shows you um how he's taping stuff off, what paint he's using. Um, he's just super great. There's a few other guys um, online that have shown you what they're doing through the whole build. And I try to do it before in video stat, but I seem to start it, work on it here a little bit. And before you know it, I finished. I haven't given you guys no updates. So this one right here, every time I pull it out to work on it, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go, uh, I want to do a live feed in that way. Um. That way you guys can see the whole build um, from its conception to its finish. Um, so thank you guys for joining. Um, we had some great guys here today. Um, you have Chevy Cheeseburger, um, Gil from Red Dragon Model Works, um, uh, Pedro from ScaledWorld.net. All three, some great channels to attend, to watch, um, to follow along, and then even submit to. Um, so... You guys have a good day. Hopefully some of you guys get back to modeling. I know, Jay, you're stuck at work, but when you get home, maybe you get some motivation um, to get back to the bench, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.